Ta-da! Look how big this joint is. You see it? That big box back there has the, the pillow in it. Daddy. Whoa, Jaden. Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Rainey, I'll see you later. Jaden just got a haircut. Going to Target with Mama Wallet. There's just so much on this list, guys. Okay, Larger, stop preaching now. Go to your bed. Go on to your bed. Go sleep. It's only finished, all right? Hey guys, what's going on? It's here, LarJ here in the car with Mr. Rooney. Say hey. And Jonathan is in the back. Jaden is eating lunch at home. I'm gonna read the scripture of the day for you. It comes from Romans chapter 15, verse 4. This is the modern English version. For whatever was previously written was written for our instructions, so that through perseverance and encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. Amen. There's another scripture that I read a couple days ago that mentioned hope. So yes, I'll reiterate the fact that it is important to have hope. So we're on our way right now to the post office to mail Lily Singh's birthday present. Sounds so ridiculous saying that. <laughs> like I know her personally. No, but this morning was pretty cool. We hung out as a family in Jaden's room. Yes, I was working on Lily's present and I recorded a clip to show you guys what it looks like. Guys, I'm here and I finished something really, really important and I'm just so excited and so happy and I want to show it to you. I finally finished Superwoman's pillow. Ta-da! Look how big this joint is. You see it? You see the S? <laughs> so I, I slaved over it for three hours this morning trying to finish it. This white border, this white border, just this white border took an hour. And I finished the pink and the yellow this morning and I'm very pleased with the results. I just don't like how it took me weeks to finish it. Like, I feel like a crazy person. My house is a mess. My, my hands are killing me. My hair hasn't been combed. I need to take a shower. All because I've been working on this thing all week. So I'm really happy that it finally is done. I wrote her this note. It's so long. I, it's, I should call it a letter that I'm gonna include in the packaging. My handwriting is just so ugly. I don't know what happened to my penmanship over the years, but it has gotten so bad. Let me read it to you. Lily, happy birthday. In this package, you'll find a decorative pillow that I crocheted for you, smiley face. I really hope you like it as I slaved over it for weeks, haha. -ha. I wanted to make you something because I watch every video you post, vlogs and comedy, bought your book and went to your show with my husband earlier this year in NYC. Thank you for inspiring me to be the best entrepreneur. I'm a photographer, crocheter, YouTuber, jewelry merchandiser, mother of two under three and wife, and you encourage me to hustle hard every single day. Those are facts. Facts 100%, like she's the reason why I go this hard. Keep doing what you're doing, and God bless you. Love, Larry and Tide, at Large Crochets, and at M Mama Large on Instagram. P.S. If you ever need a photo shoot when you visit NYC again, I got you. <sighs> I know that was like the corniest thing in the whole world, but it's true. Like, I worked really, really hard on this, and, you know, I just, I just hope that she likes it, you know, and doesn't just, like, throw it to the side, because I'm pretty sure that I developed carpal tunnel. <laughs> because of this pillow like this one pillow really did it for me so I found a box in the house and I'm going to try to put it in the box and see if the post office will take it because this is huge it can't go into regular packaging it's so soft so I'm gonna put it in the bag that it came in the pillow and then I'm going to put the letter and I'm gonna put like some ran random candies I was also Rudy I was gonna give her like a crop top <laughs> but I was like I don't know that's a bit much yeah. Yeah, much. or a hat or something, but I think I'll just give her my pillow because, you know. Yeah, it's nice. You spent your time working on it, so. Thank you, dear. Do you really like it? It's nice. Yeah, I, I wish I could, like, do this for everyone, but I can't. If I were to ever sell something like this, it would be $200 because it just took way too long and too much energy and effort. But for Lily, I'll do anything. <laughs> so now we're on our way to the 
post office to mail that joy and I'm a little nervous because that big box back there has the the pillow in it and you know I don't know if the post office is gonna take that because I've never seen them deliver a box so large so you know I just hope that it doesn't cost me fifty dollars <laughs> but it's pretty lightweight like it's not gonna weigh, weigh more than two pounds I don't think but yeah I, I just yeah, but I don't think the weight is the issue it's the size yeah I mean the next option is FedEx and that's gonna cost money right that's gonna cost a lot of money FedEx right I have I'm no not, idea not sure I'm yeah we'll see yes Jaden all right guys hi I've got Jaden here we're gonna go to sleep yeah Lisa and guys you'll never guess how much the shipping was going to cost you girl it was gonna cost 80 something dollars I told the man nope I let me go talk to my husband so Rudy and I brainstormed and realized that I should try to fit it into a smaller package and it came up to $50 $54 so yeah I was like listen Lily I love you but I don't love you that much to spend 80 something dollars just to ship you something nah that's crazy the good news is it's gonna get to her by Monday and I didn't even have to pay express shipping I just did priority and it, it's gonna get to her on Monday so I'm happy about that and yeah so Jaden's gonna go to sleep now I'm what is that what's this Jaden what's that do you know what that is yeah, I was Okay. So the plan is Jaden's gonna get a haircut at around what time? I think his haircut appointment is at five o'clock. And so Rudy is going to drop me off at the hair salon and then take Jaden to the barber shop. When am I gonna get my nails done? I'm not sure. Maybe I could go now because we're not leaving until like 4.30 or something, so I have time to do my nails and my eyebrows, so I'm happy about that. Jaden doesn't look like he's tired, so I'm a little worried, but it's really late. It's 1.54, he needs to sleep. So, Jaden, are you ready to sleep? Yes. Yes, you're ready to sleep. One, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! Good job, Jaden. Yes. You're such a smart boy. Who set that up for you, Daddy? That's so cool. Daddy. Whoa, Jaden, that was so cool. Daddy. Daddy did that? Daddy! Yay! Daddy! Daddy and mommy? Daddy! Mommy? Daddy! Nana? Nana? Baby? Baby! Mommy? Jaden, what are you doing? It's time to sleep! Wow! Okay. Oh boy! <laughs> Dude, what are you saying? Say it again. You're saying, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. So what happened now? You scared? Didn't yeah. think so. Yes? Yeah. What? Yeah. Tell them what you're doing. Tell them you're about to have just a little bit of mashed potatoes that you're eating and that you're doing a good job. <laughs> okay, he wants more, guys. He wants more. I got the goal. Guys, I took me a nap and it was banging. I'm in the car getting dropped off at the hair salon and Jaden is about to get his hair cut. He's about to be looking mad fly. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I feel very rested. I don't know why I could, I could go through the day without a nap. That was really silly. So I'm, I'm glad that I was able to take one. Okay, Mr. Rooney, I'll see you later. Bye, Jaden. See you. Hi. See how you're doing? Good. Say hi. Hi. All right, come follow. You, you got. All right, let's go. We're walking. Jaden just got a haircut. He's looking good, as always. Jaden's just enjoying himself, just walking, around, yelling. Doesn't want to hold my hand because he's too big for that stuff, right? Right? You're too big for that? Huh? Like it. Let's go. Let's go. 
I'll see you guys when I get home. Guys, I just got home from the hair salon. It's not cold outside. I just feel like wearing the hat that I finished at the salon. <laughs> it's for a customer and I'm giving it to her tomorrow. I'm so excited. It's a shame that you guys can't really see it. I'll probably show it to you inside. Hi, Jaden. Is she bugging? Yeah, you ready to go inside? She bugging it? Yeah. Guys, I'm going to Target with Mama Wallace whenever she comes out of the car. We are going shopping. We have to get some groceries because as I told you guys, I have a physical trainer. His name is Greg. You've seen him on the vlog. And he created a meal plan and a workout plan for your girl. So for the next 28 days, I have to eat what he told me to eat, which is, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's, it's smoothies, mommy. It's smoothies and oatmeal for, breakla for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Then for lunch, I can't remember what he said, but for dinner, it's one serving of protein with two cups of rice or pasta. Rudy was like, two cups of rice. That's a lot. I'm not gonna finish two cups of rice. But anyway, and then he also gave me the workout plan, which I'll be figuring out with Jay. So I had to get all the stuff right now because he says that he wants picture updates from me. So every Sunday I have to update this man and let I send him pictures so that he can see, like, you know, that it's actually working. So yeah. So guys, there's so many things on this list that I have no idea what they are. For example, your girl just learned what agave is. And mommy. Would you mind telling me what the difference between raw agave and not raw agave is? Okay, um, raw agave is in its natural form. Uh-huh. Nothing is added. Uh-huh. Okay. We could do that. Yes, and um, the other one is um, processed. Oh, so raw agave is probably the way to go. Yeah. Okay, alright, so I got my unsweetened soy milk, I got these berries this is how i'm gonna be making my smoothie with the soy milk oh gosh there's just so much on this list guys and i hope that target has it all because i do not feel like going anywhere else what about nuts? okay yes yeah, so good good thing mommy i'm supposed to get one serving of nuts so which one should i get should i get mixed nuts or there's like a whole nut section right here which one should i get mommy mixed all right, let's do one. You know what I find really funny? The fact that I went to go pick up hummus, right? Because that's on the list. I got this joint right here. And it was so hard to find because the hummus section was like cleared. Like everybody took the hummus. <laughs> like is hummus really that hot? <laughs> that's so funny to me. Anyway, next on the list, I'm supposed to get some fresh veggies and some low fat dressing. Guys, everything came up to $50. Which is not a, that bad. I definitely thought it was gonna cost a lot more, but still a lot of money. I'm actually gonna go to another grocery store tomorrow to get some vegetables and fruits because they have a better selection than Target does. Target is not known for their fruits, okay? You don't go to Target to get fruits, so I'll go there and get the joints. Guys, I think I forgot the vlog camera in mommy's car. So I'm home. Rudy is in the background feeding Mr. Jonathan who just woke up as soon as I came home and I wanted to show you the hat that I was wearing earlier. This is what it looks like. Isn't it so cute? Oh, I love it. I think I'm in love with purple. I like that joint. This is what it looks like on my head. <laughs> I'm so tempted to keep it for myself because it is just so cute. You like it, Rudy? I think I saw you putting on Yeah. Oh, you were watching me, huh? You was watching your girl? <laughs> yeah, I really like it, guys. I think I'm actually going to try to see if I can make a baby kind because I have two brand reps that are supposed to be modeling my stuff for the fall, two baby girls, and I haven't made anything from th for them yet to model. So I think I'm going to make them hats like these because I really like these hats, and I need to make them some baby doll dresses. So... I'm gonna turn it over to Future Larjay and she's gonna close the vlog for you guys. Guys, what's going on? Future Larjay here at one o'clock in the morning, closing out the vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I'm so excited to take you on this journey with me for this weight loss. Oh, boys and girls, I can't wait to share the footage with you of me trying to eat the food. I'm actually supposed to post that on the Mama Larjay channel, but 
I don't know if I'm gonna post it there or if I'm just gonna keep everything here. We'll see. Just in case, you should go subscribe to the Mama Larger channel just so you can see the footage if you're interested. But anyway, I'm gonna do the question of the day, comment of the day. I don't know if I'm gonna do a song of the day because I'm not really feeling anything right now. Because like I said, it's one o'clock in the morning and I'm just not feeling. Actually, I am kind of feeling something, but I don't know if I wanna sing it. Anyway, let's, let's read. So the question of the day comes from Allison Allen, and I feel like I featured her already, so I'm sorry <laughs> if I already read a comment from her. She says, are you guys going to go to Jamaica soon as a family of four? What about Charles? Well, Allison, we'd love to go to Jamaica soon, but I've never been to Haiti, and I don't think it's fair that we keep going to Jamaica, and I've never been to Haiti. So, you know, we might go to Haiti before we go back to Jamaica, because we've already been there three times. We've been there three times, one time as a family of three, and then Rudy and I went um, separately. But yeah, I, I think we're going to go to Haiti first. About Charles, I don't know, you gotta ask his mama. Now the comment of the day comes from Peter Gay Hamilton. She says, great job Mama Larje, I love, love your vlogs. It keeps me going and I look forward to watching. Basically, I have my whole family watching and subscribing. Thank you for allowing us, the viewers, to be a part of the Tide family. You're an amazing mother, wonderful wife, great sister, and an outstanding daughter, especially a strong young woman of God. Continue doing your best at what you do. May our Heavenly Father continue to bless you and your family. Keep up the awesome work, Rudy. You're so funny. Such an amazing husband and father. Hi, Jaden and Jonathan. It done. It finish. <laughs> Listen, Peter, you better stop with the cuteness, okay? Stop it. Thank you so much. Like, that was a really lovely comment. I... I, I love this guys. I, I want to thank you so much for keeping it positive in the comment section. You know like I go to other YouTube, YouTubers pages and they have so much negativity in the comment section and people why is why is there a why is this in the foreground? <laughs> and people used to make fun of me because I delete comments or like I hide them and I don't care. I refuse to put up with negativity and disrespect in the comment section and thank god that's not really something that I have to deal with now but last year back when I was saying like really stupid stuff which I mean I guess I kind of deserved people were hating on me so much like a lot of you guys are still upset with me because I can tell that you're still upset with me <laughs> but I just want to thank you for keeping it positive and for being so nice in the comment section and I just wish that we're universal like why can't we all just be nice to each other like that would be great last thing I'm gonna say is you know I woke up this morning future Larger woke up this morning to hear the news about what happened in Las Vegas and I'm at a loss for words you know honestly I I'm so sorry that this happened and a lot of people are just probably like why does God allow this stuff to happen well, you know what? I don't really have an answer for that. I honestly have no idea why God allows these things to happen. But all I know is that um, we as human beings have to take responsibility for ourselves and our actions. That man did a terrible thing. And, you know, it, it's just an awful thing that has happened. And people lost their lives. It's the biggest mass shooting in U.S. history. And it should just help us realize that tomorrow is not promised okay like we got to make sure that we get our lives in order now because we don't know what's going to happen when we wake up tomorrow morning if we wake up tomorrow morning you know you have no idea what's going to happen so when you look at it that way it just it just makes you realize that you got to stop sweating the petty stuff you got to be a better human being and just live now and live for now and and don't try to put off until tomorrow because you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow okay i don't know if that speaks to anyone but that's just what i feel like saying now because those tragedies as terrible as it is to say this it could happen to any one of us there have been so many terrorist attacks in in the u.s this year and i think like one of them happened in times square one of them happened overseas in london i think somewhere in england i'm not sure and then there was one in orlando i don't know if that was this year but yeah it's just really bad stuff is going on guys and I mean, we just have to get our lives in order we got to make sure that we're living right i'm speaking to the christians now christians we got to get our lives in order make sure that our hearts are in the right place because jesus christ come back at any time 
or we could die at any time so just just live right just live right and i'm speaking to myself too because i obviously don't live a perfect life because i'm not a perfect person okay larj stop preaching now go to your bed go on your bed go sleep it don't it finish all right all right thank you guys so much for watching i'll talk to you next time bye